hey, 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 welcome back to your favorite internet mean girl, B Reactions. I'm reacting to Amberlynn Reed's Wednesday weigh-in, and I'm going to try to leave a timestamp for her actual weigh-in. Um, and also, I just want to let you know that 30 seconds in, I was already over it. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So it is a Wednesday weigh-in. I'm honestly not sure how many more Wednesday weigh-ins we're gonna be doing. I am just all over the place when it comes to my YouTube schedule. I keep changing it. It's literally only been like a month and a week of 2024 and I've already changed my schedule like three times. I need to just like slow down, just like stick to something, but right now. Okay, so someone explain it to me in the comments. We're already not even 30 seconds into this video and you're already quitting Wednesday weigh-ins and complaining about your schedule. What do you mean you need to slow down? This is all you do. You sleep, you eat, and you occasionally film videos. Like, this is your job. I just... I want to give you the benefit of the doubt so bad, but like you need to make it make sense. Like when you understand it, maybe we'll start to. Now I just don't know. I don't know what's good for me. I don't know what's good for my channel. I'm all over the place, but regardless, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be uploading. I'm just not sure when there will be on friday though another what i ate today video because i do enjoy filming those i know you guys like to see a little bit of what i eat i know that's like very highly requested so that is still gonna be a thing but beyond that your girl has no idea so from my last weigh-in video i have a little update as you guys know someone in public took a photo of me without me knowing and then took a really creepy weird video of me of my butt like literally an inch away from me i didn't care about the photo but the video did give me the creeps and i know a lot of you agree with that just like imagine that that happening to like your daughter or your mom or something like that i feel like maybe taking me out of the picture and like thinking of it happening to someone that like you know that you care about then i feel like maybe you can see it a little bit more from my point of view but the update is um the person who took the photo of me is actually a girl who i actually was talking to at the laundromat which i find to be even more like weird and creepy because it just goes to show like how fake people can be because like she seemed pretty chill um she sat next to me for a little bit we were both waiting for our stuff and we had a few exchanges i didn't like talk much to her but i'm very much used to like being in public and like strangers talking to me and i am very friendly back i might be like an aco taco myself but I am friendly back to strangers, even if I do feel shy or like nervous in the moment. Like I, I'm not standoffish or anything like that. So yeah, I did correspond with this woman. And it's just weird to know that like the whole time she knew who I was and she knew that she was going to take a picture of me or that she already did. But the video was actually taken by her husband, which again, it's not safe out here for women like i get it it's not safe out here for anybody like anyone could be a creep anyone can be unsafe i totally get that but in this situation like i feel like i am a woman okay i feel two ways about this i never want to invalidate anyone's feelings especially when it comes to their safety but i also feel like girl you are a YouTube celebrity. You have hundreds of thousands of followers. You've been seen by millions of people throughout the span of your YouTube career. And you didn't have an issue until you saw the photo taken and posted online. Like there, you didn't have any fear for your safety in that moment. It was just later after the fact. But like I said, I'm not going to invalidate your feelings. I mean, if you feel like you were unsafe and you didn't feel safe, hey, I got to give it to you because only you know your truth. But I just kind of feel like it's not really genuine. I feel like it's something you're leaning on because they posted a picture and a video about you. But had they not done that, you would have been perfectly fine. I don't know. But again, you have the right to feel however you want.
who is unsafe and like a man is literally getting super close to me and taking a video of my butt to show online it makes me uncomfy and i'm going to like stand by that i will forever stand by that so i think we are done with this saga though for those of you who like stuck up for me and you guys were spreading awareness around the situation like this is not okay i appreciate you guys very much so thank you so now i'm going to answer three of your guys's questions the first one is what do you say to the rumors that the weigh-ins are fake i just think that's silly this is something that's always been going on on my channel where people think i fake my weigh-ins because people think that i weigh more than i actually say that i do which let's be realistic here scientifically that would be impossible because for someone my size over 500 pounds like i just recently walked a mile do you really think that someone like if i was even bigger than that if anyone was even bigger than that, like that would have been like possible. And I just know firsthand, like looking at myself from any point of view, whether it's my point of view or from someone else's camera or a mirror, like whatever it may be, I know that I don't look more than what I weigh. The things that I do on a daily basis, I feel like if I weighed even more, or, like people think that I'm like 600 pounds, like if I was that, I would not be capable of doing the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I think that people like to say that my weigh-ins are fake because it just creates drama, it creates entertainment, it creates conspiracy, it creates just a way for people to talk, just to create more rumors around my name um, is actually very entertaining for people because it just gives people more reasons to talk and just like spew their, their nonsense. Like just last year, I went to a famous weight loss surgeon's literal doctor's office and stepped on their scale and people were still not believing that way in so i think we're past the part of like oh we don't trust amber lynn that's why we don't believe her weigh-ins it's more so like hi i'm bored i don't have a life so let's like say you know amber lynn's faking these weigh-ins because we have nothing else to talk about so that's kind of like where I'm at with that. Like, I literally don't care if people don't believe my weigh-ins because I know they're true. Next question is, does it get exhausting constantly thinking about your weight? Yes, because it's like, I think about it regardless of what I'm doing. I think about it when I'm eating. I think about it when I'm showering. I think about it when I'm walking Twinkie. Like my weight is constantly and consistently on my mind. And yes, it does get very exhausting because sometimes I just like want to exist. Okay, I just want to keep this short and sweet. You are more than your weight. Yes, you are. And you have the right to exist without anyone mentioning your weight. But you are a weight loss channel. Or you know what? Not really. Because you don't really lose weight on your channel. I mean, you do. when It's like yo-yo. So you're a weight conscious channel. I, I, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know the wording. Help me out in the comments below. But yeah, so you have the right to exist. You have the right to ha not have people address it. But like, let's be, get real. Your whole channel, your whole YouTube existence has been about your fucking weight. Girl, girl, ma'am, come on. And then there are those rare times where I do stop thinking about my weight and I just exist as a person, but then immediately someone else has to remind me of my size or what I'm eating, anything like that. So it's like, regardless if it was me thinking about it all the time, it's like other people are going to remind me about my weight so it's just one of those things where i just gotta deal with it and it's just like i want to be more than my weight more than my size and it just feels like even when i try to be more than that and like different than that and like film different videos and that like it's still everyone's like focus and i don't mean to say everyone like as an absolute but it just feels like that is such like a heavy topic and like a hot topic where it's just like no matter what i do it's just like my weight my weight my weight that's all anyone wants to talk about the last question is are you worried about all of the plus size influencers dying so i chose this question because this is something i've actually been like <laughs> thinking about a lot like there was recently a video that i saw online of this person talking about all of the recent plus size influencers that have died and it is so many and it's just like i have never been part of health at every size because i don't believe that 
I'm very much like body positivity though. Like love that body physically, like what you look like regardless of your size because everyone is beautiful, but not every size is healthy. And I feel like that's very obvious. I don't know how that's not obvious to people that being bigger is unhealthy. It does cause so many more health problems statistically. Like this isn't just something that people say to be just like fat phobic because trust me, I experience fat phobia, fat shaming every single day. But when it comes to like health stuff, that's not just like fat phobic, that's not fat shaming, that's just like reality and the truth. And that's something that I've always firmly believed. There was a minute there years and years ago where I was delusional Lynn where it's like doctors would tell me, you know, yeah, everything's perfect. Like your blood results, perfect. Like you're healthy, you're just overweight. Like I would hear those things constantly. So it fed into my Delulu. But y'all, I tell, like, I'm telling you, your 30s, your brain, like, I think it becomes more clear because I just feel like I think more clear now. And it's just like the way that I used to think like early 20s, mid 20s is like so different than like the way that I think now. Anyways, I'm totally rambling. But what I'm trying to say, one day I will be a plus size influencer who has died. That is crazy to think about. But reality is, is reality is reality. Um, Now I'm stuttering. I don't even know what I'm saying because the topic of death is one that I don't enjoy. Everyone dies. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? Skinny influencers die. We're all gonna die, okay? Whether you're an influencer, whether you're a cop, whether you're a surgeon, whether you're a teacher, like it's all gonna, it's gonna happen. But it's just eye-opening to see like how many influencers who are plus size have died due to complications because of their weight. To answer the original question, yes, I am worried. Um, It does worry me. It makes me sad, it makes me scared. And it's just like, if losing weight was easy, then we would all have our perfect bodies. We would all have our perfect health. Like, that's just not the way that it works. For some people, yes, they can wake up one day and be like, you know what, I'm about to change my life. And for other people, such as myself, it is very freaking hard. And I know it's a lot of like up here. It's a lot of like brain chemistry slash chemicals, mental illness, trauma. Like it's so many different things mixed up. And it's not fun and it's not fair. And you guys have seen me literally try everything under the sun to lose weight. And I always do. I lose weight, but then I gain it back. But then I gain more back. But then I lose that weight again. And then I gain it back. And then I lose and then gain and then lose and then gain. It is a cycle that has been forever. Literally started when I was 11 years old. I would not be putting myself through this torture if I had an answer. Everyone is different. Everyone's body is different. The way that they do things is different. Some people, they literally just wake up and they're like, you know what, I'm gonna do this. And they do it. Some people, it takes a hundred different times to try it and they're finally successful. But for me, for some reason, I have tried 10,000 times and I just can't seem to get it. And then it makes people question all the time, like, does she just enjoy being fat? Like, is just just her thing? No, I hate it. I hate everything about it. I hate food. I hate my weight. I hate my body. I hate my size. I hate the way I walk because of it. I hate be the way I'm treated because of it. I hate the health issues I've had because of it. I Girl, you have supporters. We are all here. As I'm sitting here reacting to your video, I still want you to win. We're all still supporting you. The only person defeating you is you. The only person creating haters and doubters and naysayers is you. You have all the power to turn it around. And people like me, people like Zachary Michael, we will still be here to support you, boo. But you got to do it. No one can do it for you. Oh, look at me being nice. Aw, a moment. I hate the health issues that will happen because of it like I hate every single second but I feel stuck I feel mentally stuck I feel physically stuck 
I feel emotionally stuck. I just feel stuck and confused and lost. And it's like, people think they have all the answers. People think they know exactly what to do. And people think that if they were in my situation, they would know what to do, but it's just, it's not that easy. I don't want to die because of my weight. I don't want to die because of complications because of my weight. The very thing that has like kept me from living is going to be the very thing to actually keep me from living. And that is scary. It's like, the best way to put it is like, I feel like I died already. I have spent majority of my life not living because of my size, not experiencing because of my size. And it's like, it's only been as of recently where I have felt myself become alive a little bit more. And I feel myself coming out of like this mentally and physically paralyzed stage that I've been in for so long. And I just, every day I just want to improve more. And it's like, this last week was like the best week that I've had. And I can't even tell you how long. Every day I felt like I was living, every day I felt like I was existing and I was happy. And I rarely thought about my weight and that's very rare for me. I literally just told you like, it just seems like I'm constantly thinking about my weight and my size. And then the minute I stop and the minute I just enjoy life with friends and go to bars and like get drinks and then just all these things like I I come back after all of that after the high of just feeling so happy and I step on the scale and I gain weight <laughs> that's no surprise after a week of all of that and I, I I've never done so much walking in my life but as someone with lipedema and lymphedema the more I walk, the more I swell, the more I gain weight. That's something that I have to figure out, something I have to work on. There's only so much I can do because again, these things are not curable. I just had every single ingredient for happiness this last week while also finding every single ingredient for weight gain. So it's like, it's just like bittersweet. It's like the week where I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna live my life and I'm just gonna have the time of my life. I'm not gonna think about my weight not one time. The minute I stop thinking about my weight is the minute where things go downhill. So I'm just like so rambling right now. I don't know what is happening, but I'm gonna put my weigh-in right here so we can just move on. I am going to do my Wednesday weigh-in for you guys. So it is February 7th, which is actually my mom's 55th birthday. So everyone say happy birthday to Mama Lynn. So you guys already know I've gained weight. I already know. Like I treated the last week as if I was on vacation for the first time in my whole life. And I don't regret a single moment of it. I literally only live once. It's a new weigh-in week starting right now. So I'm just going to be happy that I even woke up alive living. I created memories last week but anyways i could ramble on about that forever let's just step on the scale hello it's ready 515.0 pounds all right so 515 points you know what this is the reason why nobody believes your weight loss you know what i don't really care enough whether or not it's real or fake i mean honestly i i don't but this is why no one believes you you film everything you walk in Twinkie, you walk in the trees, you riding through Target and all that, but you won't film yourself on the scale. Girl, make it make sense, please. If you don't pan down to them little feet so we can see what's really going on down there at that scale, stop it. I mean, you gain six pounds. And you know what? That's not really a big deal for me. It's just a contradiction. You talking about, oh, you're scared about all the health complications that come along with weight gain. But then, you know, a few minutes forward, you're talking about something. Oh, I had the time of my life. Girl, consistency. If you could master that, child, 
You know what? You should make that your goal for 2024. Be consistent. But we, but we already know you're not because 30 seconds in, you're changing your schedule. You're uncommitting to your Wednesday weigh-ins. I mean, Jesus. Like, what else are you really doing? But I digress. Zero. Yep. I had a feeling that was going to happen. So as you can see, I did gain weight because last week I was 508.8. And since I was 515.0 today... I gained 6.2 pounds of salt, water retention, calories. I I drank my calories a lot this week and I'm not really a girly pop that does that. I drink a lot of like diet and um, diet Gatorades or Gatorade Zero, whatever you want to call them. So I do a lot of that. So drinking my calories, not a good idea because your girl has retained a lot of water. My goal for last week originally was to cook more and I was not successful with that goal at all. So my goal for this week is to simply just like make better choices. That's super important that I do that, whether it's better choices on the food that I eat while I'm at a restaurant or the food that I make at home because a lot of people are just like, you know what, cook more at home. Like you're going to do so much better, but you, you don't realize that like I can cook at home just fine, but it's like, it's still like the choices that I have to make. Like, you know how easy it would be for me to make like a whole box of hamburger helper and like eat that and be like, Oh, it's totally fine because like I cooked that at home, but that's more calories than me getting like, say a meal from McDonald's, you know, it just like depends on the meal, of course, but it's not always cook at home. Cooking at home doesn't automatically make something healthy. I would like to be delusional and think that, and I'm sure there was an era in my life where I did think that way, but that's just not realistic because there's so many things that you can cook at home that are just as bad as getting takeout. And there are takeout things that you can get that is way healthier than whatever it is you're cooking at home. So it's all about making better choices. That is like literally my goal, whether it's cooking at home or I'm ordering the takeout or whatever it may be. I just wanna make better choices, whether that be the liquids I'm drinking and the food I'm eating. I wanna, you know, pick more vegetables, have a little bit more fruit, truly just like feed my body better things, things that will make me feel better and hopefully it'll show up on the scale next week. Um, is there gonna be a weigh in next Wednesday? Who knows? I know for me there's going to be because I'm really focusing this year on losing those 100 pounds. And um, honestly, I'm only down 0.8 of those pounds, but I know that I can still do it. And I know that's possible. I know I sound like a joke. I know a lot of people are probably laughing at me, but it's like one thing about myself is that I never give up. And that is something I love about myself. And I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying. And I know for a lot of people, you guys have been watching me try and fail, try and fail for years. Literally, it's been a decade on YouTube where I have done nothing but fail when it comes to my weight loss. And I know it's so easy to look at me as just that, like someone who has failed so hard on her weight loss, but like, I'm so much more than that. And I think that's why I'm like, do I really wanna keep these weigh-ins on my channel? Like, what do I want on my channel? Like, I'm super confused because I don't want it to be super weight focused, but I still want to share my journey with you guys. So it's like, it's confusing up here in the brain. Anyways, I have rambled so much this video. I don't really know what that's about. Moments like this, I should just like live stream. But anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one, which will be Friday for what I ate today. All right, bye guys, love you. Hey, if you made it to the end, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe as always, and I'll see you next week.